I didn't think anyone was alive down there. You were right there, buddy. Who are you? I'm Ralph. What the hell happened down there? She, she, she's dead. Who's dead? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. What happened? Long story. I've got time. Assholes. I'll kill them all. Oh. My wife and I were frozen. Some assholes came, kidnapped my son, and killed my wife. And I'm gonna hunt down and kill those scumbags and get my kid back. The end. Oh man. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. I need any help. I got nothing better to do. Except for getting plastered, that is. Nah. And if you need a place to crash, I got a cabin a short ways from here. Let's go. You got it. Hey. Hold up a sec. What can I do you for? Your thoughts? How do I know you're not a freaking synth? Your thoughts? Freaking minute, men. We do all the legwork while they stay back and pretend to fix houses. Your thoughts? You know what I can't stand? It's people who spend all day pissing and moaning about trivial shit. Wait, what the hell are you looking at me like that for? Your thoughts? They say Sarah Lyons is dead. Bullshit! That woman has more lives than brain cells that I've killed over the years. I've got half a mind to go visit the brother or to steal to start a few rumors just to see who starts to sweat. Your thoughts? You know what I can't stand? Your thoughts? They say so. What? I've got half a mind. Your thoughts? Freaking minute. Your thoughts? What do you mean be aggressive? As opposed to what? Standing around with my thumb on my ass while there's a freaking hail of bullets raining down? Your thoughts? Freaking minute, men. We do all the legwork. Your thoughts? You know what I can't. Your thoughts? How do I know you're. Yeah? Your thoughts? Freaking minute. Your thoughts? The sooner we. Never mind. Okay. Holy fuck mothering shit. I didn't actually think anyone was alive down there. Hey, you all right there, buddy? What? What the hell? Yeah, maybe you should sit down first. God damn it, I'm fine. Now who the hell are you? All right, all right there, Grumpy McGee. My name's Ralph, for Pete's sake. Sorry. I'm a bit on edge. Hey, hey, you're fine, okay? I know all about being on edge. It's a really rough world out here. You look like hell, though. You alright? Wanna talk about it? He... He's dead. Who's dead? Oh. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Do you want, do you want to talk about it real quick? Long story. And I, for one, have a lot of time. Assholes. I'll kill them all. Um, who? My husband and I were frozen. Assholes came. Kidnapped son. Killed husband. I'm going to hunt down and kill the scumbags and get my kid back. The end. Hey, listen. I'm really sorry. 
but don't hesitate to ask if you need any help. I really got nothing better to do anyways, aside from getting plastered. <laughs> uh, maybe you want to get some plastered too before you go ahead and take this revenge trip he is. Either way, I have a cabin a short ways away from here. You can crash there if you want. Let's go. Anywhere's better than here. Hey. Hey there. What can I do you for? Your thoughts? How do I know you're not a freaking synth? How, how do I know I'm not a freaking synth? Man, life questions. Your thoughts? The sooner we get out there and kill shit, the better. Your thoughts? What in the hell do you mean, be aggressive, as opposed to what? Standing around with my thumb up my ass while there's a hail of bullets raining down? Yeah, because that's just smart judgment, ain't it? Your thoughts? You know what I can't stand? It's people who spend every single day pissing and moaning about trivial shit. Wait a second. Hey, what the hell are you looking at me like that for? Your thoughts? How do I know you're not a freaking synth? Your thoughts? Heard a rumor the other day that Sarah Lyons is dead. That is the worst fucking case of bullshit I have ever heard in my life. She is impossible to kill, and has way more lives than I will ever have brain cells. I have half a mind to go to those tin can fucks and start a few rumors just to see who sweats. Your thoughts? This place smells like a death claw killed a rat scorpion, but instead of eating it, it pissed everywhere and left the carcass to rot. Your thoughts? What in the hell do you mean, be- Oh? Your thoughts? Those freaking minute men. All we do is the legwork and then they act like they're all high and mighty while they just pretend to fix houses. Never mind. Okay. Hey, you got any stingwing fillets? Freaking love those things. Excuse me. What are you looking at? What? Are you deaf or something, mate? I said, what the fuck are you looking at? We're looking at the dickless wonder who slaughtered those innocents back in 48. Oh, yeah. I remember. Ah, oh, 48. What a wonderful year. So many fucking memories. What is this? Well, mate, it's... Fuck me, is that who I think it is? Shirley, the little fucking survivor that could. Stand aside, Pops. This is my kill. Pops, I resent that. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Sheely? You still sore about little old mummy and daddy? Well, let me tell you something, love. They ain't coming back because they are dead. Now, if you don't mind, Come over here, so I can finish the fucking job. Oh shit. That was the wrong thing to say there, asshole. You talk a lot of shit for a dead man, Alan. What the hell is going on? What's going on? Well, let me just inform you, mate. The grim fucking reaper is standing at your doorstep, you dumb shit. So... How exactly did you lose your dick? Hilarious, mate. You know what? Why don't you go get yourself a part-time job as a fucking comedian? Everything is still intact down there, you know. You fucking git. Let's all just calm down. Let's all calm yeah. down? Well, <laughs> we should fucking calm down, shouldn't we? Before you get me angry and I do a rain dance on your fucking corpse. So yes, let's all calm down. Yeah, sure. Let's all form a circle, hold hands, talk about our feelings, and fucking sing Kumbaya. <laughs> oh, this shit is fun. Speaking of 48, do you realize how fucking exhilarating it is to watch someone beg for their life before you put a bullet between their fucking eyes? Oh, it really is something. Something that everyone should experience before they die. Because I know, mate, I know. 
that I definitely have fucking experienced that. You fucking die now! It's taken care of. Let's go grab a drink. Excuse me, what are you looking at? What? Are you deaf or something, mate? I said, what the fuck are you looking at? Gee, I don't know. I guess we're looking at the dickless wonder who slaughtered those innocents back in 48. Oh yeah, I remember. Ah, oh, 48. What a wonderful year. So many fucking memories. You sound like someone I'm going to enjoy killing. <laughs> What's that, mate? I sound like someone you're going to enjoy killing. Well, governor. Let me tell you this. First, you got to fucking hit me with a bullet. And if you don't, if you don't hit me with that first bullet and you miss, well, mate, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And I'm gonna kill you slowly. Stand aside, Pops. This is my kill. Pops, hey, I resent that. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Sheely? You still sore about little old mummy and daddy? Well, let me tell you something, love. They ain't coming back. Because they are dead. Now, if you don't mind, come over here so I can finish the fucking job. Oh shit. You know that was the wrong thing to say there, asshole. You talk a lot of shit for a dead man, Alan. What the hell is going on? What's going on? Well, let me just inform you, mate. The grim fucking reaper is standing at your doorstep, you dumb shit. So... How exactly did you lose your dick? Hilarious, mate. You know what? Why don't you go get yourself a part-time job as a fucking comedian? Everything is still intact down there, you know. You fucking git. Let's all calm down. Let's all yeah, calm down? Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> we should fucking calm down, shouldn't we? Before you get me angry and I do a rain dance on your fucking corpse. So yes, let's all calm down. Yeah, sure. Let's all form a circle, hold hands, talk about our feelings and fucking sing Kumbaya. <laughs> oh, this shit is fun. Speaking of 48, do you realize how fucking exhilarating it is to watch someone beg for their life before you put a bullet between their fucking eyes? Oh, it really is something. Something that everyone should experience before they die. Because I know, mate, I know that I definitely have fucking experienced that. You fucking die now! That's all taken care of. Let's go grab a drink. Courtesy of you. Um, <laughs> God damn. That felt good. You almost shot me, you asshole. Well, maybe next time, you'll get your whiny ass out of the way of my line of fire. Nicely done. Damn straight. So this guy killed your parents 40 years ago? How fucking perceptive of you. Ugh. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Are you alright? Of course I'm alright, you fucking dummy. This piece of dog shit is dead, and we're not. Well, you can obviously handle yourself. We could certainly use another gun. Shit. I may as well. I've got nothing better to do. Let's go. Lock and load. God damn, that felt good. You almost shot me, you asshole. Well, maybe next time, you'll get your whiny ass out of the way of my line of fire. 
Nicely done. Damn straight. So, this guy killed your parents 40 years ago? How fucking perceptive of you. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Are you alright? Of course I'm alright, you fucking dummy. This piece of dog shit is dead, and we're not. You obviously can handle yourself. We could certainly use another gun. Shit. I may as well. I've got nothing better to do. Let's go. Lock and load. Hey. 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 We need to talk. What is it? So, I should probably tell you a little about myself. I was only a kid when that waste of life killed my parents, and everyone else in the town. Ralph here, and his father, a guy named Thornton, found me and raised me. We eventually moved out west, and at 19, I joined up with the NCR. I worked my ass off, and rose to the rank of Major. Well, that is until those fucking pansies tossed me out of my ass for being too hard on the troops. Well, that shit just crushed me. I went to the local tavern and crawled inside a bottle. Then one day, in walks this fucking guy, asking me if I wanted to travel with him. I mean, the shit this asshole had thrown at him. He had just kept his head down and did what he had to fucking do. I felt ashamed, just pissing my life away, feeling sorry for myself. So after I was done traveling with him, word had gotten to me that Alan had been spotted in Utah, heading east. So Thornton, Ralph, and I packed our shit and hauled ass after him. Five fucking years it took to track that asshole here. Being forced to listen to these two clowns bitch and moan and argue with each other every step of the way. Uh, you know the rest. Oh, come on now. Wasn't that bad. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me Mufuslo over here has a father who's still alive? <laughs> yeah, he's actually a ghoul. Yeah, yeah. Laugh it up, assholes. You forget that you were the one that was frozen for 200 freaking years? Anyway, I owe my life to this guy, and he's in a bit of trouble. He has a shop in Lexington. Let's go. Hey. Excuse me. Hey, we need to talk. What is it? So, I should probably tell you a little about myself. I was only a kid when that waste of life killed my parents, and everyone else in the town. Ralph here, and his father, a guy named Thornton, found me and raised me. We eventually moved out west, and at 19, I joined up with the NCR. I worked my ass off, and rose to the rank of Major. Well, that is until those fucking pansies tossed me out of my ass for being too hard on the troops. Well, that shit just crushed me. I went to the local tavern and crawled inside a bottle. Then one day, in walks this fucking guy, asking me if I wanted to travel with him. I mean, the shit this asshole had thrown at him. He had just kept his head down and did what he had to fucking do. I felt ashamed, just pissing my life away, feeling sorry for myself. So after I was done traveling with him, word had gotten to me that Alan had been spotted in Utah, heading east. So Thornton, Ralph, and I packed our shit and hauled ass after him. Five fucking years it took to track that asshole here. Being forced to listen to these two clowns bitch and moan and argue with each other every step of the way. Uh, you know the rest. Oh, come on now, Sheely. It wasn't that bad. Wait, you mean to tell me that Methuselah over there has a father who's still alive? <laughs> yeah, he's actually a ghoul. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, you assholes. Hey, remember you were the one frozen for 200 fucking years? How old are you anyway, seriously? Anyway, I owe my life to this guy, and he's in a bit of trouble. He has a shop in Lexington. Let's go. Hey. Hey. What do you want? 
Your thoughts? I know I can be an asshole, but in this fucked up world, better it's the asshole on your side. Your thoughts? Look alive. Your thoughts? I know I can be an asshole. What? Your thoughts? Damn it. I could go for a cold beer and a fat, juicy ribeye steak. Your thoughts? Do you think this world is worth saving? Your thoughts? I know I can be an ass. Your thoughts? Damn it. I could go for a cold. Yeah? Your thoughts? I know I can be an ass. Really? Your thoughts? That Ralph guy is off his fucking rocker. Your thoughts? That Ralph guy is off his. Your thoughts? Look alive. Your thoughts? Damn it. I could go for a. Your thoughts? Tell you what, I won't give you any shit for a full hour. You've earned it, buddy. Your thoughts? That Ralph guy is off. Your thoughts? That Ralph guy is off. Your thoughts? I know I can be an ass. Never mind. Okay. Hi. Welcome to Thornton's freaking bar and goods. What's the deal with the crazy lady over there? Stella. Ugh. She just wanders in here from time to time. I don't know how to get rid of her. This building is supposed to have two floors. How do I get up to the upper floor? Ugh. I guess we're just supposed to pretend that there's a hidden door leading to a stairway. That's the mod author's story and he's sticking to it. Personally, I think he's just too freaking lazy. I heard you needed help. Yeah, I... Oh, hey, son. Hey, Sheely. How's it going, you old zombie motherfucker? Yeah, I've been better. Ooh, hey. Did you kill that fuck yet? You're goddamn straight I did. That's good, that's good. Maybe now you can lighten up a bit. You... Damn it, Ralph. I told you to keep your grubby hands off the goods until you paid up for last time. Grubby hands? Look who's freaking talking. Would you want to eat this after he's touched it? Are you listening to this? You see the way he talks to his own father? Pretty smug for a guy who, when he was 20, ran off and joined a cult for the sole purposes of getting drunk and laid. That only lasted a few months, but those crazy lunatics have been hounding them ever since. Bravo, dummy. That's awfully judgmental for someone who got shit-faced and decided to go out running naked through a Freaking radiation storm. Would you believe 2,700 miles? I had to listen to this shit. Ugh. Anyway. Yes, I do need help with something. There's this mercenary jag off named Cress trying to extort me for protection. Go squash that insect. Matt, you're not on the list. I'm just kidding. You know, list is they say that gold's aged like a fine wine. It's cut off. very short. Sure. Thank you. I used like, like fucking enjoy. milk. Come on, it's That's still no early. Them boys. Fuck boys. They got no business coming around here. You do me a favor and cause a disturbance so that I may kill you. It's awfully boring. <clears throat> Welcome to Thornton's freaking bar and goods. What's the deal with that crazy lady over there? Stella. Ugh. She just wanders in here from time to time. I don't know how to get rid of her. This building is supposed to have two floors. How do I get to the upper floor? Ugh. I guess we're just supposed to pretend that there's a hidden door leading to a stairway. That's the mod author's story and he's sticking to it. Personally, I think he's just too freaking lazy. I heard you needed help. Yeah, I... Oh, hey, son. Hey, Sheely. How's it going, you old zombie motherfucker? Yeah, I've been better. Ooh, hey. 
Did you kill that fuck yet? You're goddamn straight I did. That's good, that's good. Maybe now you can lighten up a bit. You... Damn it, Ralph. I told you to keep your grubby hands off the goods until you paid up for last time. Grubby hands? Look who's freaking talking. Would you want to eat this shit after he's touched it? Are you listening to this? You see the way he talks to his own father? Pretty smug for a guy who, when he was 20, ran off and joined a cult for the sole purposes of getting drunk and laid. That only lasted a few months, but those crazy lunatics have been hounding him ever since. Bravo, dummy. That's pretty judgmental for someone who got shit-faced and decided to go out running naked through a frickin' radiation storm. Would you believe 2,700 miles? I had to listen to this shit. Ugh. Anyway. Yes, I do need help with something. There's this mercenary jagoff named Cress trying to extort me for protection. Go squash that insect. I don't know what's worse about this town. The synth paranoia or the alcohol. Do you hear about the Brotherhood of Steel? Hey. Get out of my face, asshole. I don't have time for the likes of you. Are you Chris? The child murdering scumbag I've heard so much about? Yeah? So? Johnny and I wasted a few kids back in 48. What's it to ya? Yeah. <laughs> Look at his freaking mustache! <laughs> oh look, the fucking circus is in town. Damn it, we don't need this shit right now. Where the fuck is Johnny? Oh, I can answer that. Yeah, <laughs> funny story actually. Yeah, Johnny's freaking room temperature. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're next by the way. Shit, Johnny's dead? This is not good, sir. Relax, Leland. I call serious bullshit. There's no way that Johnny was taken out by this collection of jackasses. I think Leland needs to be burped. We're wasting our time. Let's just grease these scumbags and go home. Hey, look, it's Sheely. <laughs> you should have been there to see your parents whine before Johnny wasted him. Funniest shit I ever saw. Please, please don't hurt my boy! <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Get out of my face, asshole. I don't have time for the likes of you. But I have plenty of time for you, asshole. So, you think you're funny? Huh, <laughs> you must be a glutton for punishment. <laughs> look at his freaking mustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the fucking circus is in town. Damn it, we don't need this shit right now. Where the fuck is Johnny? Uh, I can answer that. <laughs> Uh, funny story, actually. Johnny's frickin' room temperature. Sorry about that. You're next, by the way. Shit. Johnny's dead? This is not good, sir. Relax, Leland. I call serious bullshit. There's no way that Johnny was taken out by this collection of jackasses. Me thinks that Leland needs to be burped. We're wasting our time. Let's just grease these scumbags and go home. Hey, look, it's Sheely. <laughs> You should have been there to see your parents whine before Johnny wasted him. Funniest shit I ever saw. 
Please, please don't hurt my boy. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Can I get another beer over here? Hey there. Is that prick dead yet? That's good news. The world is better off. Here you go. For your trouble. Talk to Ike in the basement. He might have more work for you. I get the feeling that there might be more of these fuckers out here. Alan and Chris had to be acting on orders from somebody. As to who they are, and why they slaughtered a whole town, I don't know. Son of a bitch. <sighs> oh well. Let's go, buddy. It's fucking, hey, this fucking mallet shit tastes positively vile. What is that smell? Hi. Is that prick dead yet? It's very short. Thank you, Gordon. That's good news. The world is better off. Here you go. For your trouble. Talk to Ike in the basement. He might have more work for you. I get the feeling that there might be more of these fuckers out here. Alan and Chris had to be acting on orders from somebody. As to who they are, and why they slaughtered a whole town, I don't know. Son of a bitch. <sighs> oh well. Let's go, buddy. Oh shit, you spilled your drink. Lousy punks. Probably don't have any parents. Why 